Hi YouTube, today we're going to show you how to install ambient lighting in your RV. What does this piece of trim have to do with ambient lighting? You'll see in a minute. It's got this, it's got this uh, LED lighting. It's from Chi Chin Lighting on Amazon. I believe it's Amazon. No, yeah, it wasn't eBay. It's Amazon. Any, anyhow, um, this is what it looks like. It's weird when you look at it online because you go, well, what is that? I don't want that. That looks like a huge block. But these actually come apart and they turn into this. See this? So basically they come apart and then on the back side they've got this double stick tape. So what you want to do is you want to you want to install this in your RV. But when you do, when you put it in the RV, it'll end up looking. At you, I'm going to put mine along the um, along by the windows, and you don't want people to look in from below like this and see if if the lights are in there along this wall here. Behind, see that, see that, uh, the window, the top of the window and that bulb? Where that light area is is where the lights go. So if someone's in, outside of your RV and they're from this window, that what they end up seeing is they end up seeing a, a bunch of, looks like Christmas lights, and that looks tacky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount the lights to a piece of trim. At, which is pretty self-explanatory. There's really no reason for me to show you the process of this other than to burn YouTube time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the, the lights inside this piece of L-shaped trim here. Okay, so like so. The lights come equipped with double stick tape. So you're going to put the lights in like that, tape it down, and actually I'm going to use little trim nails because these lights are equipped with these small, you can see it here, see these small loops? You can put a trim nail right in there. <clears throat> so I'll mount all the lights up one, <clears throat> one after the other like that, down this thing. And then when you look in, you will see this side of the trim. You will not see the light. You'll see the glow of the light behind the trim. So this will be facing the inside of the coach and this, the light will be there so and from the outside there's a small lip you won't see the lights so that's what i'm going to do and i'll report back when i'm i've tacked this in basically i'm going to tack these lights all along here then i'll run the wires See how these work? See that? That's how you cut these apart. And there you have it. <clears throat> Project Pete is has been busy the last couple of minutes. I went ahead and I didn't glue these lights into this channel. They have double stick tape. See the little red pieces there? On the other sides of these, there's double stick tape. So you simply tape them down into the channel like so boom all the way down now we're going to I'm going to show you how I'm going to place them into the RV so the RV's a mess right now cuz I've been hooking up electrical things and whatnot okay see how these sit here what we're going to do is we're going to flip this this way so from the inside of the RV, you can't you can't see the lights themselves. All you really see is the ambient light shining down. So they'll go right inside this channel, like so, right up there, see? There's the lights. And when you're standing up here, you won't see the lights at all when you're standing. You'll just see the glow down. Now when this is fully installed, 
See, and it looks nice where the curtains are too. It hides, it hides that track where the curtains are and replaces it with a light. Now when we're all finished, this is a very inexpensive project too. This, these light strips cost me 14 bucks and these pieces of trim cost five a piece. So this was very inexpensive and this should give it a very funky 70s vibe. <clears throat> when we're all finished, I'll be back in a second once I hook the power up to the 12 volt. Here's how I, how I did these, I ran them. They basically just have speaker wire that I labeled and that goes directly into down here, there's uh, all of my wires. There's, I got a new bus bar here. I'll just directly wire them into there and we'll be good. Well, the lights are all finished. Now, the big reveal on the Chinook. There she is. Red glow. Limo lighting. Look at that. Nice. Nice red lighting. Ambient lighting is very cool. Cool. It goes great with the drapes that Regina made me. Looks fantastic. Perfect. Perfect job. I know it's kind of hard to see because of the light, but I mean, the light's so intense in here, intensely red. Maybe that will change the character. Now that makes everything look super washed out and yellow on the screen, but yeah, this is really something else. Get the TV going here. Eat your heart out, Just Incredible. You're the one who inspired me to use LEDs, and so that's exactly what I did. Very cool. So, I forgot to mention that... When I did this this uh, lighting in here, I also had some extra, there was a whole bunch of, actually quite a bit of lighting strips left over. So I've got these cabinets and I decided to go ahead, this is where all of my you know overhead storage is. I decided to go ahead and use those lights up inside my cabinets. So here they are. They, um, I had them anyway. So it lights it up real nice inside there. And I can get to just about anything I need. Um, get inside here. And the entire inside of this thing is completely lit up. It's, it's uh, quite amazing, actually, considering I spent... Uh, you know, less than $50 on all this. And I wired these lights directly to the 12 volt. Of course, I put a fuse in line. But look at this. This is fantastic. I mean, it's wonderful. And um, the whole entire thing cost me almost nothing. 
and it's it really it really is cool. So I forgot to mention that, uh, but yeah, it's looking fantastic in here. And that's uh, the end of this video. Just incredible inspired me to do this as I said before, uh, just because LED lights are super inexpensive and they are ubiquitous on the internet on amazon.com ebay they really are everywhere and uh ex excellent quality these actually are korean lights not chinese lights um but you can see i got the camera in there so that's it goes all the way down my storage um korean lights i trust even more Anyway, that's the end of the video. Uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and tell your friends about my Dodge Chinook camper and what I've done to it so far. And I'll see you at the next video. Bye.